Okay, so I've picked up, uh, for better or for worse, this free, free of charge, premier single-headed concert tom kit from what I think, according to a stamp inside, if I can see it, well, somewhere in here it says June 81, or July 81, basically. As you can see, it's pretty dull. I couldn't help getting a little bit of nervous to see what was underneath. So that's the polychromatic silver finish. This is cruddy. It's really rusty, it's pitted. Um, it's got no extra holes. This is the, so that's the 12, this is the 13. 13, this rim is really rusty as well. On the inside, not too bad. No, there's no ply separation, there's a few gnarly bits. That really happens on these concert tom kits. Badges are pretty clean. Finish, I mean, it's dirty, it's so dirty. This kit is, is really dirty. And I've got Lords on this appears to be completely cobwebs and things. So this was free on Facebook basically, so um, it was advertised about an hour from me. Apparently when I turned up about 100 people had contacted him, there you go. It says um, May 81. May 81, that's what I think that is. I've got some other drums that I think I've got a similar month and year stamp that seems to be pretty good, although it looks early because it's kind of like an elite, but you can see the floor on it. It's just really very, very grimy. In fact, it's funny, on video, it doesn't look half as bad as it does in real life. This makes it look nicer than it is. Uh, I think somewhere something is not so good has happened there. It looks like there might be a little bit of a tear through there. I'll be able to sort that out and I've got a spare one. Few nasty gashes in the finish. Again, a lot of grime, like really good grime. It came from a farm, and it had been stored in in a barn, but in a kind of in like a separate sort of little room that was within the farm. I mean, there's loads of crud in here, as you can see. Um, top of the drum. It's really nasty. Again, really. Super grimy. I think that one's probably knackered. <laughs> I've got many spares of these. Where um, in the noughties I was taking them off of you know 1940s and 60s sets of drums that had had them fit fitted. So I've got quite a few of them. It was the, seemed to be the favourite. The oval tom mount sort of plagued many older vintage drums in sort of a an attempted half assed renovation that would often happen maybe 20 years into their lives, you know, somebody would sort of rip off the, the original spigot mounts and whatever and put the oval mount, usually unfortunately butchering a horrible big oval hole not very well um, but it means I've got spares what's interesting is I've tried very quickly getting, you know, this is a kit from the classics of 70s really it's funny, it says 81 I really had it down as late 70s um, but um, this this rim is really, I think it's, it's hopefully just crud, but you can see it's almost sort of welded on there from years of just being without a front head. I mean, if anything, it's probably helped to keep the drum round, so that's good news. And of course it will come off, but right now it's fused with a mix of farm crud and uh, yeah, just I think it's expansion and contraction of the the shell and, and the who. So it's got all the bits. I've even got the 10 um, ten tension fittings for the front head as well. So there we go, that's it. It is a 16, 13, 12 concert toms elite. Late 70s, possibly early 80s. And we're going to see what we can make of it. We're going to see if we can make it beautiful and see if we can get it rocking again. Here we go. Also, we've got stage one. Top bearing edge looks good. See a little bit of the original colour and stuff like that. That's quite, quite decent. Top bearing edge is actually really clean, which is great. 
need to make sure that that doesn't actually get damaged at all as I'm working. Top damper is shot, but I've got loads of spares of that. Scratches and things inside. I think I'm actually going to send it down and give it a light Danish on this one. That's the general vibe. Uh, what I'm going to do now is get the lugs off it. The top hoop is really rusty. I'll do a separate video on actually cleaning that, I think. Cool, so you can kind of see now the general condition of the shell. Obviously, it's extremely grubby. There's um, some deep gashes that I think even with uh, different grades of, 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 of finishing, I think they're going to remain. So I'm going to go for a polish on this, and I'm going to accept that there's some gashes. Um, pearl finishes, busy finishes, I think I'd dig in with this, I think I'm going to end up anyway just with sort of the trick of the line, trip of the line, I don't know which it is, trick or trip of the line, is going to mean that that's going to look, um, you know, you're going to be able to see where I've gone hard on it. Um, but actually there are some panels where I think just polish will do. Um, so that's the shell. Not too bad. Uh, as for the lugs, well, they are really crabby. Um, I don't know yet whether either a, like an acid bath or I might just also sole one of them and just see exactly how bad it is. But certainly some of them look like they've got oxidation, which is eaten right in. But I might just give that one a quick clean actually and see what what it actually turns out. Okay, so that's the before one. And that's after. So I mean it's certainly pitted. There's nothing I can do about that, but in terms of bringing it up to a shine and reducing, you know, there's gonna be a market. A marked improvement from what I've got, what I'm starting with, to what I'm able to get to. So, you know, yeah, there's hope. Cool, so this is the 13 shell that I started on um, after going through Novus two, uh, 3 and then 2. Um, I mean, it's remarkable. It's actually such a nice finish. I mean, I, I didn't even ever look at polychromatic silver ever and think it was a kit that I would want to own, let alone a concert type kit. But this has got such... It's really got a vibe. It's got mojo. Um, it's really, really super clean. So I'm now kind of doing things in the wrong order a little bit. Um, because it's come up so well, I've decided I am going to lightly sand, <coughs> excuse me, winter cold. I am very lightly sand the inside and just to kind of tidy up the bottom. <coughs> Constant Tom raw, sort of raw, raw edge. And I'm going to give it a uh, coat of um, Danish oil. Uh, and then stop pressing other news. Um, I managed to find up in the loft. Not one, but two um, of the Streamline second generation diecast hoops 13 and 12. So I've got, I can fit the drum kit with, um, I can mug off the triple flange hoops um, that it came with and re revert back to um, the, uh, the diecast hoops, which is amazing. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. Uh, I just realised I've got my camera on wobbly for this one. Sorry about that, I was using Super Stable before. Um, so yeah, let's um, give it a sand down and see what happens. So I've just uh, very lightly sanded the interior of this drum uh, and the bottom bearing edge or uh, reinforcing ring and edge. It's, it's a bit of a crabby edge, I've not gone really hard. I'm certainly not in the habit um, or have the equipment to 
recut it, obviously the bottom bearing edge is a concept on kit, so it's just uh, doing nothing really. Uh, the top edge is both really clean and um, there's uh, no damage to it and it's obviously original, which the way I like to do things and the sound I like to work with is I like to try and keep the original intent and there's people who cut recut bearing edges and so on. Um, so now we're masked up, I'm just going to use <coughs> excuse me, cough's awful some of this um, Danish oil and um, I'm going to apply it with a brush uh, you know what a brush looks like here's a little shallow tray like this so um, just decant some of this Danish oil into here and I'm just going to basically get, do the inside of the drum I'm going to leave, probably go up to, to the inside edge of the top reinforcing ring but I won't actually um, treat that or the um, playing side bearing edge ok cool here we go, that is the uh, 13 that's been fully polished, renovated, Danish oiled on the inside. And just as a comparison, this is the drum I've just bought in. So this is the, the 16 floor tom. And here's what it's going to become. This is just the same drum set, but just with a little bit of love and care. So all of these scratches, all of this damage. Similar on this drum, looks like this. Inside now looks lovely. Sorry, the washing machine's going in the background. And then the inside of here, with all crabby, pretty dirty, quite nasty, gashes, etc. That will be all sorted. And it will look like that. So I'm going to crack on and tear down this uh, poorly floor top and uh, see what we can make of it. Let's go.